Well, hello there, my friends, and welcome to Sports Edge. I'm John Pearson. About right now, a good portion of the Yale men's basketball team probably cramming for final exams. Some of the Bulldogs headed right to the library after their third straight win tonight. For the first time ever, Central Connecticut State playing on the Yale campus. Blue Devils coached by former Husky Danielle Marshall, who had a... Uh, Suspend a couple of players before the game tonight. Long night for Central. Bulldogs build a double-digit first-half lead. Anthony Dallier helps Yale go in front by 16 at the half. Second half, James Jones says, all right, guys, let's keep this going. And his guys listen. They've got some athletes on this team, like sophomore guard Alex Copeland, the leading scorer with the steal and the easy two. They padded the lead. Lots of guys contributing for this team right now early in the year. Here's another good one. Freshman Jordan Bruner on the miss, eventually gets the ball back and says, you know what, I'm going to take a closer look at this. He dunks it, and things are looking good for Yale. Not so good for Danielle Marshall's team, although Austin Nels tried to keep them in it with 19 points. Too much Copeland. Another big game for him tonight. He led the way again with 23 points for Yale. But this guy, Mia Une, the freshman, can shoot it. I don't think he hit rim all night. He was 7 for 8 from 3, had a big night shooting with 22 points as Yale wins again, 90 to 59 the final. They're heading into the finals with a pretty good grade in this game, an A. Do you miss? <laughs> um, I, got, I got pretty hot tonight, and my teammates were able to do a good job of finding Woo! me when I was open. And all the, the unselfish play really helps our team out, and we're pretty successful when we're moving the ball like that. Last year, this time we were five and five. So if you would ask me at the beginning of the year, would you take six and four? I probably would have, especially losing Makai. So I feel really good where we are. We're playing really well, especially defensively the last few games, and really shot the ball really well. So we've got to keep that up, and if we do, got a chance to be pretty good this year. As for Danielle Marshall's Blue Devils, they fall to two and seven on the year.